Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. Well, this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Clem, stay close to Kenny and Cat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, huh? Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Hey, sweet pea. You okay out here? I don't think Duck feels good. Uh, me neither. Hey, man, we're still looking around and haven't figured much out yet. It's fine. Radiator could use a rest as it is. Stuck. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Would you have left Lily back there? On the side of the road like that? Yes, Lee. Yeah? We have to have lines. Yes, I would have left her. Okay, then. Has Clementine said anything to you about Doug or Duck or anything? I'm worried about him. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Doug. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. You were standing right there. Are you doing okay? I was. It was awful. One of the worst things I've seen yet. I'm sorry you and... Oh my god, Clementine had to see that. I liked him very much. He'd spent some time in Belgium. Where your family's from? Yes. Even further away now. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. Was it you? Not this again. Was it? No! Okay then. What would you have done with Lily? I don't know. Left her? I've never seen anybody kill someone like that before. Yeah, you've seen a bunch of other stuff by now. Yeah, but not like that. You, uh, happy you stayed with us all this time? Yeah. Really? It's with you guys or dead. I would have died out there in the woods, just like my classmates. You think this is better? Yeah, of course. One hell of a mess. Doors closed.
Whoa. Somebody's been living in here. Yeah, man. Shit. Think they're gone? I hope so. But this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. Looks unopened. I'll take this to Kanja for Duck. A clipboard. A map of where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. Looks like it'll get that pin out. Shit. Broken. There's gotta be a better way to do this. Derailed. I can get it over there. Might be something inside. Switch. Nothing. Might be something inside. Rusted shut, but nice and heavy. Nice. That'll crack a skull just fine. Might be something inside. Might be something inside. Shit. We got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. Suppose we gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it? Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. Ask Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. This hoss will take us right to Savannah. A hundred tons of steel. Put a thousand walkers between us and the ocean, and we don't have to give a shit. I can't believe it.
What about Doc? What about him? We can't act like nothing happened to him. We can't act like he's dead, either. Okay. Fair enough. Try to get this thing started. There's got to be some sort of manual or something. Huh. <laughs> I don't know about that. That's the spirit. Ben, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. It's a bunch of papers. A bunch of maps about Georgia cities. Nothing about the train. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kinda see the indentations from the writing. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. I have no idea what to do with these. Ugh. Things were designed to save lives. Doors closed. This door's gonna hurt. Okay, you aren't gonna like this. in pretty good shape for a wreck. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking. Hey, Ken. What's up? I don't know about leaving Lily back there. Abandoning someone on the side of the road is the same as murder. Don't worry about it. We just would have had to deal with her eventually. With the directions I was able to piece together, I, I think I might be able to get this thing started. I don't know. It's a long shot. 
I don't even know what the fuel situation is with this thing. We'll find out. You mess around in the engine compartment yet? You want to talk about that? I'm really sorry, Kenny. Nobody deserves this. There's nothing to talk about. You heard Cat. He could be fine. We probably shouldn't ignore it. Nobody's ignoring nothing. I'm not worried. You shouldn't be either. I'll get back to it. Me too. We're golden! What about Duck? What about him? Look, Kenny, it's something we're gonna have to deal with. Did you not hear Cat? We don't know shit, Lee. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. All yours. That's the throttle. Damn it! Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? And get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? stuff. I guess it's no worse for wear. Name's Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Train folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Have candy. Boy, I got the last piece I got on me. Figures. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. Hey. 
Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. It taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Hey, Chuck. Howdy. Where are you from? You live around here? Georgia boy. You saw where I live. Why are you alone? Why not? Seem to be doing all right. Fine, then. I'm sorry. I do like being around y'all, actually. It's nice. You caught us on a bad day. Mm. You still got a couple of kids. And this one's got a good spirit. That's some kind of something. I'll talk to you later. Hope so. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? I better get back to it. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Wanna ride? Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can't ignore this. Look at the kid, Kenny. This is happening. Ain't shit happening. And if it were, what can we do here? We get on the train and we find something better. That is the plan. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Cat. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going. Gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults, taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Ed, get them. No. Ah, living got them. Lee! Lee, I need you, right now. I need you to go get Ken. What's so? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Thank you. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. 
Jeez. I'm gonna go get Kenny. Hold on tight in case the train stops fast. How to get this train stopped right quick. I'm stopping the train. Stay put. Okay. You need to stop the train. Kenny. What? Ken. What the hell's that? Your son's blood. Get out of here, Lee. You know he's dying. Nobody knows shit. He'll be fine. Wake the fuck up, man. This is over. He's dead. Don't you tell me to wake up. I got a real family I'm trying to protect. Not that fucking sham you're running back there. You're acting like nothing's wrong, and somebody's got to knock some sense into you. I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this, and you bet your ass I'm gonna. I don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You want to hurt people because you're afraid! Losing Duck ain't enough for you! Because you fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! Again, it's... I think it's time. The boy's been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. We shouldn't waste time. There ain't none left to waste. I'm saying we shouldn't stay put. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if... what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. Can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Oh, fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Kenny, you're his dad. You do it. And I'm his mother. Lee's right. And don't give me that I brought him into this world junk. Shush. He's still a baby boy. It would be different if he were older. 
Let me do this. Then I'm coming with you. No, hon. Stay with me. Your son loves you. And you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. I can't. Lee, be with him. What's happening? Conscious taking care of Doc. I thought he was going to die. She's putting him out of his misery. Yeah. Look, Clem. Things are... No. God! It had to be done. Okay. There was no other choice. Okay. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben. Get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. <laughs> cat, cat, gotcha. Why, cat, honey? Oh, fucking God. <laughs> You said you could do it, Cat. God damn it. You said you could do it. Shouldn't have let her come out here by herself. She could. She, 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 she. Fuck. Oh, oh, fuck. What do we do? You're his dad. You gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man.
Anton? Uh-uh. You uh, understand what happened? Yes. Okay. What are you thinking about? What Chuck said. What Chuck said? That what happened to Duck would happen to me. The fuck he did? I swear. Sorry. I'm gonna go talk some sense into him. Don't be mad. Hey. How you doing? Say it to me, asshole. What you said to my girl. Excuse me, son. Telling the little girl she's gonna die. Wanna scare people, scare me. Fucker. Okie dokie. She's gonna die. Son of a bitch. How is that? How about I throw your sorry ass off this fucking train? Now we're both scared. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow that y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do you know? I'll tell you, as long as you don't toss me over the rail. I know that you don't have a goddamn plan. We get to Savannah, and then what? We find a boat. You think that's a new idea? You got even the foggiest idea about where you're gonna find one of those. Look, sit down with the girl and hash it out. Find a map, for Christ's sake. I'd give you one if I had it. And if something were to happen to you... It won't. If it were, you gotta prepare the girl. Teach her to use a weapon, and for crime, and he cut that hair. She's a little girl. And she'll die a little girl if you treat her like one. You gotta consider her a living person. That's it. You're either living or you're not. You ain't little, you ain't a girl, you ain't a boy. You ain't strong or smart. You're alive. Look at her hair. You got her running around with a mop that's gonna act like Velcro to any hand swinging its way. Find some scissors in my pack and take care of that hair before a walker does it for you. And then show her how to use a gun. Because like it or not, that's what saves your life from here on out. I don't mean to tell you how to do your job. But too many people have died already. They have. And seeing another little girl die might just do me in. I hear you. A plan, a haircut, and a gun. It's good advice. It's something. Kenny ended up shooting his son out there. I suppose someone had to. What a mess. You said it. Where are you headed? Uh, that way. I mean when we get to Savannah. We got a few ideas. We'll have a talk when we get there about whether or not you folks want company. You have any family? Out there, somewhere. Been sort of on my own for the past, oh, 14 years now. Sorry to hear that. No one to blame. You're homeless then? Eh, suppose. I've had homes here and there, and you know, they just don't work out. I like a drink, you know? Yeah. Got any? No. Darn. Be safe up here. You betcha. Hey. Yo. It's full of maps and documents. Mind if I get by you for a second, Kitty? Can you just leave me alone? Hey. Hey. It'll be good to get to the water. I wanted to talk to you about keeping my past from you all. You told us it was your parents' store back in Macon. That was enough personal information. I'm sure... Cat... would be, uh... okay with you. So forget it. Okay. Hey. Yeah? You still want to get a boat? It's still the best plan. Can. It's the best plan.
Are there any maps up here? I don't know. I just uh, want to look over one with Clem so she has a lay of the land once we get to Savannah. I was lucky enough to get it working once. Hey, Ben. Hey. Doug saved your life, you know. I know, I know. I don't know if I can go on like this, man. Well, you're gonna. That's just the way it is. There aren't many of us left. Yeah. You, me, and Kenny. Clementine. The homeless dude if he sticks around. Are you gonna be able to step up? I can do just as much as anyone else. Good. I hope that's true. See ya. Yeah. Hey, Ben. Hey. See ya. Yeah. The door to the boxcar. I hope we're not on this train much longer. Looks like Chuck has some booze left. It's a fifth of whiskey. He's lived here a while. There's some scissors in Chuck's bag. Hey, Clint. Did you talk to him? I did. He had some, uh... He explained himself and made some good points. Look, we're not gonna let anything bad happen to you. But there are some precautions we have to take. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Don't worry, sweetheart. Okay. What should we do? Well, we're gonna figure out a plan for when we get to Savannah. Teach you how to protect yourself and, uh, tidy up a little. So you can't get grabbed so easily. I'd like that. Good. What a crappy day. Crappiest. If three months ago I'd known what you'd be seeing, I don't know if I would have taken you with me. I probably would have run out of food. You damn near starved with me. I'm glad I came with you. What do you think about Chuck? I don't know. Me neither. He might be an okay guy, though. You think? We'll keep an open mind about him. He's probably had it pretty rough. You need to know how to protect yourself. Like hiding or running away? Got it. I mean with one of these. First, don't be afraid of it. It's just a thing. Take it. But know where your finger is all the time. And don't put it on the trigger unless you want to hurt somebody. Okay. Okay. See? It's not scary. It's heavy. You'll get stronger. To aim, you look right down the top, through that notch. Line up the sight at the end with your target. Is there anything else I should know? I know these are just bottles, but you have to aim for the head. I know. Only the head. Unless it's not a walker and it's someone trying to hurt you. And then? Head or body. Anywhere. I don't want to think about that. You're right. It might be a lot for your first day. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Good. Don't lock your elbows. Okay, let's take your first shot. Squeeze the trigger smoothly and I'll cover your ears. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. <coughs> you okay? My hands hurt. I don't like this. Let's stick with it, okay? Do I have to? Yeah, you do. Okay, aim a little bit more to the left. Aim lower. I got it! Excellent, good shot. A 
bit to the right. A little bit lower. There you go. Nice. I did it! Yeah, you did. Good job. I just pretended they were walker heads. Good. Just like you should. They're not walkers, though. No, far from it. But you know how these things work now. We'll graduate you to walkers one day. Okay. I feel good. Not so scary, huh? Nuh-uh. My hands hurt, and my ears have noise in them. Like... You'll get used to it. I need to look around for a few things that'll make sure we're prepared when we get to Savannah. That would be good. I hope it's safe there. God, me too. Hey, Clint. Hi. So, you're probably not gonna like this. Oh no. What happened? Nothing. We have to talk about your hair. It's not safe. That's not nice. What? Are you saying it smells? No. Cause it does. Kinda. Do you remember when Andy St. John grabbed it? And I got mad? Yeah. Well, that could happen again. And if it's a walker, well, we need to trim it. Just a trim, right? I need to cut it short enough so that it can't get grabbed. <sighs> okay. Mind if we do this now? I guess not. Don't mope. It's a good thing. Do you know how to do this? Nope, no idea. I'm not much of a stylist, you know? I'm going to look like a boy. But think how much safer you'll be. I'd rather be dead. Shush now. So you did kill someone before? Yeah. You could have just told me. I wouldn't have been afraid of you or anything. I'm sorry. You've killed lots of things now. It doesn't even matter. You're right. Before all of this, I was sent to jail, you know? Did people ever go to jail when they shouldn't? All the time. Okay, I think I'm about done. I can probably tie these pieces back with something. Here, I have some hair thingies. You do? Oh uh, yeah, Lily gave them to me for sleeping. There, all set. Does it look dumb? <laughs> no, you look cute. And a lot harder to grab. Sorry about your hair. I think it looks cute, though. My mom isn't going to like it. I'll be right back. Okay. Found this if you want it. Damn. Didn't realize I had it left. Thank you. Want a nip? 
sure. Ooh. Not known for its finish. No kidding. Anybody in there want to share a drink? You let them know. Will do. Well, the girl can shoot. It doesn't have to be pretty. Probably will be before too long. You get that hair sorted? Yeah, I don't think she cares for it. She will. Hey. Yo. Chuck wanted to know if you needed a drink. He's got some? Yeah. Yeah, that'd help. Thanks. Hey, yo. Have another with Chuck. You'll keep an eye out up here? Sure. Okay, then. Thanks. It was me. Huh? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. I could kill you. I... I... Nobody can see us. I could toss you over right now and be done with it. No! I... Lee, please! Why shouldn't I? They said they had my friend! I didn't know what to do! Lee, please! I had to tell someone. I bet you did. Hey, Clint. Hi. I want to talk about Savannah. Me too. And what we're gonna do when we get there. We don't know what to expect. The city could be bad or totally under control. The thing is, you and I, we're a team, you know? And a team needs a plan. Aside from everyone else, when this train stops, you and I should know exactly what we're doing. A plan. I like it. Good. We need to help find a boat. It's our best bet at safety. Okay, but we'll be in Savannah, and my parents were in Savannah. I know. Look. No! I don't care about safety. I care about finding them. Where would we even look? I can remember where they were staying. Maybe they didn't go far. Clementine. Please, Lee. All right. Let's figure it out on the map, but a boat is the ultimate plan. Yes. They can come with us, right? Yes. Looks like we'll come right through town if there's nothing on the tracks to hold us up. We're gonna wanna look for a boat here, I imagine. And from there, we've got all the Savannah to the southwest of us. Now we've got a good chunk of Savannah here. What do you think? 
They always stay in the same place when they go there. It's, uh... Hmm... Hey, don't worry. We'll figure it out. Have you ever been there? Once. Well, think about it. There are a lot of hotels on here, but read this map and maybe it'll jog your memory. They've got really tasty desserts. It's called the... M... M... something... Mar... Is this it? The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! So we'll head there. Yes! You think we have a good plan? I think it's very good. Can I tell my parents? You know... Sure. Go ahead. All right. How do you feel? Good. Better. I'm glad we have a plan. And you're a good little chef. Thanks. I guess we should see how far- Oh shit! Hold on everybody!